Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we want to learn how we can upgrade Keycloak from JBoss to Quarkus. As you know, Keycloak they had a migration from the JBoss platform to Quarkus. The versions of Keycloak until the version 20 uh, run over JBoss and after that uh, they run over uh, Quarkus. So in this video, we want to upgrade it. Um, let's go and let's uh, do it. For this scenario, of course, you need um, a version of Keycloak. This is running over JBoss. You see that I have it here. Uh, I have here the version 50 that is running. And in this um, version, I have uh, created some ROMs, uh, network ROM, security ROM, support, and test. And at the end of this video, we must be able to have these ROMs here in the version 50 uh, in the new version of the key clock, in the version 80 of key clock that runs over um, Quarkus. So let's go and let's do it. Uh, before we start, um, I would say it will be nice and friendly if you let me know with any likes, comments, or subscribe that the video was yeah, useful for you. I go back to the terminal. You see that here is my key clock that is running. So I stop this version of key clock. Uh, I make clear here and um, I go back to the self directory here I make a list uh, you see that I have installed Keycloak version 80 here it is the last version of Keycloak and uh, that runs over Quarkus so uh, before we go further you have to make a backup uh, of your Keycloak server in this video, we don't want to make a backup uh, because it is not our topic. But if you don't know how you can make a backup of your Keycloak server, you can go back uh, to my videos. Uh, in one of the videos, I have shown how you can uh, make a backup of your Keycloak. So you make a backup of your Keycloak. Here you see that I have done it under the uh, backup directory. And if I go to this directory and make a list, uh, you see that they are the realms that we have security, support, and network, and test realm. We have two users and the master realm also. Uh, as I said, uh, at the end of this video, we have to have these realms here in our new version of Keycloak. So uh, I change the directory. I go to the new version of Keycloak. Here you see that it is a... Um, version 18. So before uh, upgrading, I uh, open the configuration file of Keycloak and um, I show you something here that may help you also um, in your case. Here is the configuration file. As you see here, I have configured uh, PostgreSQL uh, for my Keycloak as a database, as you know, Keycloak comes with a H2 database. It is the default database of Keycloak. But um, I would suggest you, if you want to use Keycloak in a production mode, uh, it will be better if you configure another database for your uh, Keycloak. And you see that I have already done it. If you don't know how you can how you can install Postgres on your machine, how you can create user, password, and DB. Uh, you can go back to one of my videos. Uh, in that video, I have um, um, I have showed how you can uh, install Postgres and create um, a DB. And here is the configuration for the database, and here is the URL because Postgres runs over localhost, and it is the default port of uh, PostgreSQL. And the rest of that is the configuration of the certificates and uh, the host name. So I save it here and um, uh, I try to, to upgrade and to import the ROMs from the last version in the new version. Uh, let's see what will be happen. So for upgrading, you have to use this. Uh, command as you know this script is for starting key clock but for upgrading you have to use uh, import flag and after that 
DIR uh, because our um, backup, the backup of the, our um, last version of Keyclock was in a, a directory. So you give minus minus DIR. If you have uh, if you have a backup of your Keyclock server in a single file, so here you have to give minus minus file. And after that, backup here uh, was the, you see that the directory that I had made a backup here. And after that, I press enter and we see what will be happened. Uh, you see that here, um, the ROMs will be imported from the last version to the new version, all the ROMs here, and uh, the other ROMs, security network supports, and here I had a um, uh, LDAP configuration, this configuration will also be uh, imported here. And you see that at the end of the uh, upgrading, you see import finish successful. It means that all of the ROMs and settings from the last version are imported in the new version. So what you have to do is just uh, to start the new version you know, with the use of this command in a production mode. Uh, you can start your server. I just press enter. And after that, we go back the, to the browser and uh, we check what we have and if the ROMs and other settings from the last version are imported here or not. So we try to access our Keycloak. Here, administration console. So I log in with the user uh, from the last version, admin test one, two, three. So you see that uh, it will be logged in and um, uh, you have all the ROMs here, network ROM, security, and test and they are the ROMs that we got from the last version. And if I go to the server info, you see that here is the, the version 80 of Keycloak. And here we have the ROMs uh, from the uh, last version. So it means that uh, we have successfully um, uh, upgrade Keycloak and we could uh, import it uh, all of the ROMs and clients and other settings from the last version to the uh, to the new version and our key clock server is running and um, if you want to um, run the key clock server in back end so that you can have you can use your terminal again uh, you can use this command here for that with sudo no hop this is the command that you use for starting and this and uh, at the end of the command so i press enter uh, this time the clock server will be running and you can use your your terminal again and if you open this file here It is the it is the log. You see that the server is now running, and here we can have a sign out and sign in again, so that you will be sure that the server is running. You see that we have uh, the runs here. The server is running. And it is the new version of Keycloak. And here, if I close this file, you can use your terminal again. So we, we have done it. Um, 
Yeah, we could upgrade Keyclock from JBoss to Quarkus. Uh, I hope that uh, it was useful for you.